In this video, I'm going to show you the content calendar I use for the Content Mavericks blog. It's pretty simple, like in the first column here we just have to write, so we put in the URL of the actual blog post that we're going to put live on the site. Um, that's all straightforward. The status here, there's kind of five different options. So you've got done, production, ending, scheduled, and promotion. So I just tick the option that's relevant. Um, if the article's in production, I hit that. If it's in editing, editing. If it's scheduled to go onto the site, then I'll schedule it. And if it's in promotion stage, then I'll hit promotion. Um, now for type, there's three different types, compounding content, viral content, and pre-sale content. These are the three types of uh, content that I teach inside Content Mavericks. Um, so I select one of these, whichever one it is, um, and then that's that done. Then I've got the owner. Um, so whoever the owner is, if it's me or if it's another writer here, I'll just select them. Um, and I can easily go in and change this, but like based, based on who your writers are, you get a data, data validation, and then you can put in your own writers here. Then I've got the first draft date, and here I'll actually link to the like the Google Doc of the first draft. Um, and this is when the, the, the person who's writing the article needs to send that, their article to me. Um, the live date is like the actual date is going to go live on the site. The traffic potential, what I do is I go to um, Google. So if say my topic is content distribution, I'll uh, type that into Google. Then I'll go over here. I'll grab the URL of the top listing, copy the link address, and I'll go over to SEMrush and I'll plug it in here into the organic research section and that'll bring up like the actual traffic potential, like how much traffic that URL actually gets. Um, and so I'll look at the both desktop and mobile and I'll add those two together, like the 353 and the, uh, the 381 here. And then I'll multiply it out by 12 to get what the actual um, traffic potential is here and I'll, I'll plug that into this column here. Um, so that's the max, maximum traffic I could possibly get organically for that particular topic if it was ranking at the top of Google. Um, and then I put the rank potential in here, which is what I do is I go to the search results and I actually look for opportunity gaps and what the domain authority is of the actual competitor's post on the, on the page. And I give it like a, a ranking here. And that's all explained inside the blog post that accompanies this video. Um, and that's it. It's really easy, really simple to use. Um, and I hope it helps you with, um, with growing traffic for your site.